Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that a straight line L is perpendicular to the line 5x minus y is equal to 1. The area of the triangle formed by the line L and coordinate x is, is 5. Find the equation of line. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And first is the equation ay minus bx plus k is equal to 0 represents for different values of k a family of lines perpendicular to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. That means that if we have to find the equation of any line perpendicular to this line, then interchange the coefficient of x and y and change the sign of either x or y and replace the constant term by a new constant k, that is this equation. And secondly, in a triangle ABC, if the coordinates of A are x1, y1, coordinates of B are x2, y2, and coordinates of C are x3, y3, then area of the triangle ABC is given by 1 by 2 into x1 by 2 minus x1 by 3 plus x2 by 3 minus x2 by 1 plus x3 by 1 minus x3 by 2. The whole. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. First of all, we will find the equation of straight line L which is perpendicular to this line. Now given the equation of line is 5x minus y is equal to 1 or it can be written as 5x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now by using this result which is given in the key idea the equation of any line L which is perpendicular To the line given by equation number 1 is x plus 5y minus k is equal to 0. Now let us name this as 2. Now for getting this equation, in equation number 1 we have interchange the coefficients of x and y and change the sign of y and also replace the constant with the new constant k. Now, if the line which is given by equation number 2 cuts x-axis at the point A, then for A, putting y is equal to 0 into we get x plus 5 into 0 minus k is equal to 0 which implies x minus k is equal to 0 which further implies x is equal to k. Therefore, coordinates of A are k0. 
Now again, if the line which is given by equation number 2 cuts the y-axis at the point B, then for B, putting x is equal to 0 and 2, we get 0 plus 5y minus k is equal to 0, which implies 5y minus k is equal to 0, which further gives 5y is equal to k, and this implies y is equal to k by 5. Therefore, coordinates of the point B are 0, k by 5. Now let this be the line L which cuts the x-axis at the point A whose coordinates are k0 and cuts the y-axis at the point B whose coordinates are 0k by 5 and O which is the origin and its coordinates are 0, 0. And the triangle formed between the line L and the coordinate axis is the triangle AOB. Now in the question, the area of this triangle is given as 5. Also, by using this formula, we can find the area of triangle. Now let the coordinates of A as x1, y1, coordinates of B as x2, y2 and coordinates of O as x3, y3. Now using the formula, area of triangle AOB will be equal to 1 by 2 into x1 y2 minus x1 y3 plus x2 y3 minus x2 y1 plus x3 y1 minus x3 y2. Now putting the value of x1 y1, x2 y2 and x3 y3 here, this will be equal to 1 by 2 into k into k by 5 minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 the whole as all the terms except the first term will become 0 which is equal to 1 by 2 into k square by 5 which is further equal to k square by 10. Therefore area of triangle AOB is equal to k square by 10. Also it is given that area of triangle AOB is equal to 5. So this implies 5 is equal to k square by 10. Which further implies 50 is equal to k square. Which further gives k square is equal to 50. And this implies k is equal to plus minus 5 root 2. Now we have this as the equation of the line L which is the equation number 2. Now putting k is equal to plus 5 root 2 in equation number 2 we get x plus 5y minus of plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 which implies x plus 5y minus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. Now putting k is equal to minus 5 root 2 in equation number 2 we get x plus 5y minus of minus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 which implies x plus 5y plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. Now for the two values of k, we are getting two equations of the line L. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.